Good evening. I'm Scott Toomey, the Director of Choral and Vocal Activities at Pacific University. And I want to welcome you to the Pacific University Spring Choral Concert. This year has been the most difficult year for musicians that any of us could ever have imagined. This has been especially true for choirs because singing is a high-risk activity these days. Who knew that singing would be more dangerous than football? With this in mind, we're singing in isolation and uploading vocal parts to be blended together. As one of our singers, Alexis Walker, wisely observed, we don't even know what we sound like. And she was right. We're all missing one of the key benefits that singing together provides, community. I'm proud of the singers, faculty, and staff at Pacific and working through this by finding ways to connect and to move forward, to continue to make music, and to try to do some good in the world. There are many people to thank, and they are included at the list at the end of the concert, and I hope I remembered everybody. However, I want to give a special note of thanks to my wonderful colleague, Dr. Sam Barbara, who is the Director of Choral Activities at Portland Community College Rock Creek, and who also directs our concert choir at Pacific. It is truly a blessing for me to work with such a great friend. The concert this evening reflects the topics that we have wrestled with this semester. We started by reflecting on the wonderful poem by National Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman, The Hill We Climb. Using this as a catalyst, we explored a variety of topics, including music of protest and social justice, music that celebrates diversity and equity, and finally, music that speaks to the collective challenges that we've all faced during this time of separation. We were lucky to have Zoom sessions with musicians of color in February, women scholars, performers, and composers in March, and this past week, a session with a person who's changing the world through honoring transgender singing and making singing an inclusive and rewarding activity for all people. Tonight's concert includes large ensemble pieces and also some quartets performing the pieces that they have selected. We're also fortunate to have one senior thesis arrangement by Devin Garber that celebrates his final project in music education. And one very special gospel piece at the end by a solo performer. What we want the world to know is that music making continues no matter what the challenges are that we face. Tonight you'll hear songs of protest. You'll hear spirituals written and arranged by African-American composers. You'll hear songs of loneliness, loss, and despair, and even a sea shanty in resonance with the sea shanty phenomenon started by Nathan Evans on TikTok in January. For even though sea shanties are fun to sing, they reflect a way to make life go on through difficult times with uncertain outcomes, something we can all relate to this year. Finally, you will hear music of hope for the future and a call to tangible action for all of us to condemn acts of hatred and racism as we look to rebuild a better nation and a better world in the years ahead of us. In the words of Amanda Gorman, and yet the dawn is ours before we knew it. Somehow we do it. Somehow we've weathered and witnessed a nation that isn't broken, but simply unfinished. We hope you enjoy the concert and we send you, all of our friends, families, and colleagues, our love and good wishes. Thank you.
Walk down that lonesome road All by yourself Don't turn your head Back over your shoulder And only stop to rest yourself With the silver Shining high above the trees. If I had stopped to listen once or twice, if I had closed my mouth and opened my If I had cooled my head and warmed my heart, I'd not be on this road tonight. Carry on. Don't turn your head back over your shoulder and only start to rest yourself when the silver moon is shining high, shining high above the tree. And Junes and Ferris wheels, the dizzy dancing way you feel as every fairy tale comes real. I've looked at love that way, but now it's just another show. You leave them laughing when you go, and if you care, don't let them
gone is the romance that was so divine. Tis broken and cannot be mended. You must go your way and I must go mine. But now My name is Devin Garber. I'm a senior with the Pacific University Chamber Choir. I would like to introduce the next piece in this performance, which is an arrangement of mine, Ticket to the Moon, which is originally performed by the Electric Light Orchestra. I arranged this piece as part of my senior capstone project. I'd like to give a special shout out to the soloists, Car Carter Burnhide and Dwight Collins. Without further ado, here is Ticket to the Moon. Cheers, I cry. 
untroubled sky up to a new world shining bright oh, Flying high above, soaring proudly through the mysteries of God. All you sadly in the ways of letting go. We turn round and I will see you there, standing there. Ticket to the moon, flight leaves here today. Oh, I thought I heard the old man say, Leaper John, Leaper. It's a long, hard time till your next payday. And it's time for us to leave her.
Hi, I'm Ellie. Pacific University and the music department here are devoted to inclusion and equity among all groups, races, ethnicities, and genders, especially those that have been discriminated against. Through this concert, we wanted to shed light on some of the injustices that have occurred and present music as a way to heal and reflect. During this process, it became highly evident to us that we wanted to give back to our community in a more direct way which led our director, Scott Toomey, to the idea that we could incorporate a charity of which we strongly believed in the values into the concert. After careful consideration of both local and national charities that aim to support and elevate underprivileged and highly marginalized groups of people, we found Adelante Mujeres. Adelante Mujeres is a local charity here in Forest Grove founded on the principle of providing aid and support to marginalized immigrant Latina women in the area. Specifically, Adelante Mujeres aims to amplify Latino women's voices in discussions that directly affect their lives, like policies and legislature, through educational means that empower their voices. If you can, we ask you to consider a donation on behalf of the Chamber Singers to go to Adelante Mujeres. The impact that comes with donating is boundless. When you donate, you are helping those who are in need. In today's world, we all need help in any way we can lend it. It is not about how much, it is about the reason behind why you donate and the change that come from it. We hope that you enjoy the virtual concert and hope you would consider donating to an amazing organization that works hard each day to make communities and families who are underrepresented heard and cared for. Thank you once again. Soon.
Oh, yes, to be seen.